Well, summer grilling season is upon us, but before you reach for the barbecue sauce, our next guest would like you to consider using fresh pesto on your grilled meats and veggies. Always a pleasure to welcome back to our kitchen local chef and founder of Sauce Annalisa <laughs> to our Carol Evan Kitchen. Good to have you here today. It's so good to see you. It's it all started here. with this. It did all start with that. And look that. at look at all and the different things you do. Yes, and I get to hang out with you on a regular basis, hang which on. I love. Well, love back at you too. <laughs> Talk about pesto now and the varying types of pesto that you like using. Okay, so everyone is familiar with the or traditional Italian yep. pesto, which is basil, uh, Parmesan cheese, olive oil. Amazing. It's awesome to test it in pasta. You yeah, know, look at it. Look at it up here. How beautiful it's it is. It's so delicious mm -hmm. and flavorful. And right love now, it. basil is so is going to be popping up everywhere, super fresh, full of flavor. Um, make a bunch of pesto. If you want to change from the traditional pesto, I have a really great, um, just swap out the basil with, say, for example, cilantro. This is a cilantro, lime, and jalapeno mm. pesto. It goes great over fish. You can marinate your fish or your chicken, throw it on the grill, and then top it afterward with some more of the um, lime cilantro. Nice. Um, my favorite, though, is the roasted red pepper um, pesto, which goes great on anything. I've got it here on some um, baguette. It's also amazing on chicken. It's incredible with the steak. And it's really easy to put together. When you're grilling, just grab some peppers, preferably red peppers. Obviously, you can use anything you have on hand, orange and green. You're going to pop those onto your grill for about 15 to 20 minutes until you just see a char on them and they're gonna soften. And then you're gonna take them and just pop them into a food processor. So we've just got some peppers in here. We also got some roasted garlic. Um, you can throw that on your grill with the, in a, in a piece of foil with so the peppers. So it's a roasted, well. nice. Yeah, just, mm -hmm. it sweetens it up a little bit. Sometimes it can be a little bit bitter, so it takes that bitter away from it. And then this is also gonna like take away some of the um, sharpness of the garlic and the peppers. It's ricotta cheese. You can swap it out for Parmesan cheese as well. We're gonna use a swig, a good swig of olive oil. All these recipes are online. So it's about half a cup um, per one medium-sized pepper. And then we've got a little, like I said, Parmesan cheese. And then we've got some fresh herbs here. We're just gonna throw those in there. Um, you can use fresh cilantro. You can use fresh parsley is really nice. With whatever you parsley. like, yeah. Yeah, whatever you have in hand. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to go ahead and put this in here, give it a few spins in a food processor, and what you end up with is this right here. So this is, if you want to give this a shot, this yep. is the roasted red pepper. And then what I have over here is just some tri-colored veggies. So I've got some carrots and asparagus, purple, yellow, and orange. And all we're going to do for a vegetarian entree is top these roasted veggies, which you just came off your grill, with some red pepper p pesto. It is amazing. It will take these vegetables to an entirely new level. You serve that either with, like I said, steak, with veggies, chicken, And that's fish. a pure veggie meal here, yeah, obviously. And, and look I, at that, how oh good man, that looks. This stuff, I'm telling Hearty. you, you can drink it. It's amazing. I love that, and I like your idea. You can use that on either chicken or fish yeah. as well. It works, because yeah. okay. sometimes that gets to be kind of a flat Boring. taste. And you can, yeah. Get rid of the sauce and mm. make some fresh garden mm. pestos. Make it nice, as always. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa O'Connell, the sauce lady. You're going to find Lisa's <laughs> tasty recipe she mentioned at carolevan.com. Look under the 4 p.m. show page.